Welcome to the PB&J Show. With Pastor Bradley. And Jeremy. Where we talk about things that matter. And a lot that doesn't. All right, welcome to the very first episode of the PB&J Show. Pastor Bradley and I realized that we uh, have a lot to offer, and it should be captured on video. So most of you don't know, uh, Pastor Bradley and I are not just youth pastors in the same town, but we're best friends, and we love each other. We have a lot we, of fun together. Yeah, I love you. Oh, I love you too. I knew that. So, <laughs> Hey, so we're going to talk about a bunch of different stuff. Um, we want you to know as we produce these videos, you can let us know exactly what you want to hear us talk about because we will literally talk about anything that is appropriate. Yes. Um, so just <laughs> let us know. Hey, first of all, we want to talk about two of the greatest things happening in Towns County right now. Um, yes. Number one is what we just enjoyed, Taco Tuesday. Um, we are not supported by Monty Albon in any way, but uh, we just celebrated Taco Tuesday. So what do you think about Taco Tuesday? Taco Tuesday is a wonderful thing. For 99 cents, you can receive a chicken, beef, or pork taco. Once again, this is not a paid endorsement, but yet, we're just it's not paid saying yet. yet. But if you're listening. Yeah, it's good. Monty, you're killing it. Yeah, soft or hard, ta hard taco, yeah. so great. And you get chips, yeah. salsa. Mm. I mean, what's not to love about Taco Tuesday? Three tacos in a glass of water you can get out of there for three, three twenty, three, three nineteen. Something. Three. Like but tip well when yeah. you go on Taco Tuesday. Definitely. Even though your bill's small, tip well. Definitely. Um it's a good way to bless a server. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. So what do you think is the number two thing that is happening in Towns County right number now? Number two in Towns County right now, and I've been, you've been. Oh yeah. And I hope yeah. you've been too. We got to talk about the Dollar Tree. Wow. Are we going to call it DT? Like we got DG and DT, or or is it the tree? The tree. We're just going I to like the it. tree. So like y'all start, tree. you know, let that catch on. That's the what tree. it's called now, the tree. It, it's official. Mm -hmm. PB&J say it's the tree. So where where should we go after church, Wednesday? Let's go to the tree. Go pick up a couple of things from the tree. Dollar bills, y'all. Everything mm. in there. You tell them that PB&J sent you. And you can have anything you want for a dollar. <laughs> Any, that is an endorsement. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are we are telling you right now they got peace tea in there. You like peace tea? Peace tea. tea. They got Rockstar Energy Drinks. Uh they've got uh, a 12, decorations. Twelve pack of eggs. A dozen, I think it's called a dozen, yeah. Dozen, dozen. eggs. You get a dozen eggs for a dollar, pack of bologna for a dollar. You got uh shredded cheese, bag of chips, Texas toast, duct tape. Paint supplies. Paint supplies. Paint brushes. A three pack of paint paint yeah. brushes for one dollar. Crayons Phone or crayons? Chargers. Is it crayons or crayons? It's crayons. Who says crayons? Nobody. Nobody ever. Around here. Maybe you. Crayons. Yeah. yeah, crayons and coloring books. And Balloons. my wife won the gumball contest. She did. She guessed, Celebrity. Yeah, fifty four gumballs, and she guessed that and mm. won a gift certificate. So now she gets to go pick out all kinds of stuff for free mm. at the DT. No, we call it the tree. The tree. the tree at the at tree. At the tree. So that's sure. good. What was your favorite thing at the tree? Um, I don't know, man. I was just overwhelmed by everything. I like I like a good deal. So it was cool to see a good deal. A good deal um, and a good deal more. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so yeah. Um, check yeah, it out. I, I I'm a dad, so um, I made the joke the entire time. I kept saying, "Hey, how much is this?" That's a great joke. <laughs> yeah, because everything's a dollar. I love dad jokes. Uh, do you have a good dad joke for us right now? I do. Okay. Who uh who is the shortest man in the Bible? Oh, I, I don't know. Who who is the shortest man in the Bible? Nehemiah. <laughs> See, I like that. <laughs> y'all y'all are laughing at oh, home right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I like that one. Why didn't Jonah trust the sea? Mm, I don't know. Because he knew something was fishy about it. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Hilarious. Here, here's one. What animal would um Noah refuse to play cards with on the ark. I don't know. The cheetah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Speaking of cheetah, <laughs> you knew where we were going to get that's here. A great segue. Speaking, speaking that's of a cheetah, awesome segue. speaking of cheetah, today as of uh Look Tuesday, May the 2nd, <laughs> um uh Carol Baskins has just taken over complete control of Joe Exotics former wow. zoo. Wow. How about that? I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> She, all the all the months I've known about them. <laughs> I, I don't know if um, can you say the bad guy won or no? Because they're are I they good guys? I don't know. I haven't and watched gals? enough of the show uh, to uh, <laughs> that could be our intro. Hello, you kid, kittens. <laughs> Hello, you you cool cats and kittens. 
Um, yeah, just tra- tragedies in the world. You should definitely today. get the uh, the the Joe haircut. You could definitely it'd be it'd be awesome. I like the gray. I feel like I'd have to go well, blonde to pull the, that off. No, so a gray the, mullet. Gray is the way. I mean, gray is the way. I like this it. is the way. Oh, Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Man, episode. I mean, uh, season, season two. two coming soon. Coming soon. October. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of seasons, have you seen? Have you watched the Chosen? The Ch- no. What's uh, that about? So the Chosen is it's like a Netflix style show. It's only on an app called The Chosen, and it's the story of Jesus choosing his disciples. Wow. I can't believe I hadn't told you about no, that. No, I, I really had no clue. Very this good. Is the first Very time good. he's mentioned. Just watch the whole season. Yeah. Uh, season two, they're making it now, but you can. You can watch it, and then you can pay for like different people to watch it and stuff like that. Really cool show. Highly recommend watching that. You need to watch that. Tonight. I haven't seen that, and I'm also so. behind. There was a new Christian film about Jeremy Camp. Have you yeah. seen that one yet? Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't. I've heard good I things. I still believe. I still believe. Yeah. Maybe if you've seen it, let us know if it was good. Yeah, I yeah. think I heard it was great. It was, a lot yeah. of people said really, really good things about it. I think so. the theater's back open now. Maybe. Yeah, yeah three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. So you can. I don't even know if I can say that. So you can go to the movies and yeah. pay three ninety nine, and then you can get go to the tacos. tree oh, after yeah. you go to the movies and get you. A yeah, don't snack. don't take dollar items into the theater. Not at all. Support them by buying their. Actually, popcorn. I'll say this: we moved here from Athens, Georgia, and so every time we went to the movies, it cost us ten dollars a ticket, and like fifteen dollars for popcorn, and five dollars for a drink. So it is really nice to pay four dollars for a movie ticket and like just a couple of bucks yeah. to get popcorn and drink. I love, I love our local theater. Again, this is not a paid advertisement <laughs> yet, but uh, <laughs> but whoo wee, we that's could. That's good. Mm. What else is good in town? I mean, barbecue is good in town. Barbecue is great. We have excellent great barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah, Happy Hog and Hog Wild and yeah, um, yeah. It's all it's all really good up here. All of our restaurants are good, dude. Asiano's, Asiano's. is killing it, man. That place is off the chain. Um, yeah, yeah, really good. Even really the fast good stuff. food's good. You yeah, can yeah. Go get yeah. some great. Our Taco fast Bell is top notch. Have you Zaxby's seen the line at Zaxby's good. here lately? How it like wraps is. around the building twice. Yeah, that about. place is crazy. I have tried the Popeyes. Okay, sandwich. we're not talking about that. Not as good. No offense, mm-hmm. Popeyes, and any other you know olive oil and any you know. Bruno and the hamburger. Guy. Oh my gosh! So, <laughs> <laughs> Another, sorry. So I, I will a say, lot I will say, dumb humor. A, a in this. Spicy two piece from Popeyes. Yeah, with some with some beans and rice. That, that's off the chain. Okay, I like that. That's fair. I do like it, but I like a good old chicken Chick Fil A sandwich. I'm just that's, glad we're kind of getting out of quarantine. What have you been doing during quarantine that you've enjoyed? Um, yeah, or I think there's good that comes out. You know, God has a way. Of even in the hard times, even the bad times, we can find good things. So tell me a good thing about a, quarantine. A good thing. What would it be? Um, I was at home when my little boy started walking. Walking. Awesome. So I got to see Zeke take his first steps. Guess cause it was during quarantine. He yeah. turned one during quarantine. Took his first steps, and um, yeah, just being there, having some some fun time with the family. Uh, did a lot of work on the house. I did a lot of work on the house. We uh, we finished our basement out. Um, and then I did some work upstairs, did some work on my shop. And then one day my wife was like, Hey, while you're doing all this work, will you build me a chicken coop? Um, so now I have a chicken, chicken coop, a 20 foot by 20 foot pen and eight chickens. Nice. Yeah. So that's, and they lay eggs. Not yet, but not yet. But we told them, hey, Till if, then, if we're going to feed you. If you don't lay eggs, we're going to get a meal out of you one way or another. It can be breakfast or dinner. You pick. be a chicken pot pie. Mm. My wife makes good. That's oh, awesome. Goodness. For me, quarantine has been, like you said, it's been a lot of good family time, a mm-hmm. lot of quality. I have a wonderful wife. I have three outstanding children. And it's been great to have time with them and just time just to slow down. I think we're at such a, you know, fast paced society. Yeah. That everything just seems to be boom, 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 boom. And just to slow down a little bit, it's really gave us the time to um, focus on God and focus mm-hmm. on the things, you know, what, what in my life do I need to, you know, and, and even I've heard people say, you know, when things get back to normal, yeah. here's what I'm going to slow up on. Because mm-hmm. I see the family time's great, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this up or give that up. So yeah. that's really something to think about. What can we give up that mm-hmm. you know during quarantine? You know, well maybe we've missed it, but if we could slow up on certain things, it's gonna open up by saying no to certain things. We can say yes to other things. Mm-hmm. So that's 
kind of a, a challenge for you to think about, you know, what, what can we do? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I totally agree, man. I think that people found some, some freedom in, in having a lot of their schedule reduced. And I, I think it would be, it would be wrong for us to just completely pile it all back on and go yeah. back to normal. But, um, so I think that's really good. I, I think you're right, man. I think a lot of good mm -hmm. came out of that. So speak, speaking of which both of us, you know, leading student ministries, our student ministry is about to take back off, man. Um, your church starts back Sunday. This Sunday, June the 7th, is that right? Yeah, yep. And that's our first Sunday back, and y'all will be back on the 14th, yeah, one the week following. Yep, yep. So we're excited for that. Yeah. Uh, good safety precautions, some yeah, social sure. distancing, yeah. hand sanitizer. Do we all have some available or any? Yeah, and a super sucker. Yeah, we're I just going to, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, have you man. missed corporate worship? Oh, maybe? yeah, no doubt. Okay. No doubt, yeah. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad we have technology to be able to do stuff like this Definitely. and hang out and all that, but I, I just love seeing people. I love that you and I are getting to hang out. Definitely. This stuff, is so. the first hang that we've had in a while. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm glad for this time together. Yeah. I'm glad for this cool logo we have here. Yeah, look at PB that. Wow. And Jay, handsome. Man. I like how you got a cool photo and I, I got did. a stupid picture. Well, no, it's a good picture. It's, a, uh, it's such an amazing sandwich. You're just so excited. Yeah. Look at that sandwich. It's a wonder bread, I guess. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But, yeah, yeah don't know. anyway, that's good. So this summer, we're going to be doing some things around town. I haven't fully had a chance to convey that with my youth, but we've got some cool things in town we're going to do this year. Y'all yeah. got some other things you're working on? I yeah, guess? yeah, same. Okay, same. We'll, cool. we'll just say that. So we'll say this. we got cool things coming for both of our youth groups. Cool things coming together. Together. That you'll be finding out about that that's we'll be doing together about. as soon as we can do that. And then um, – I would go ahead and say since uh, we had to cancel big stuff, we weren't able to go to our summer camp. I would say that this year's weekend, the weekend in February, Ooh, yeah. is probably going to be the greatest ever. It's going to be awesome. Um, so we're going to make we're going to make it up uh, in the weekend. So so that'll be really really exciting. We don't know who's headlining the weekend yet. No, nope. but probably you know it'll be dope. I heard we're bringing awesome. I heard we're bringing a band back from. A past weekend, so I'll just leave that out there. Mm. Mm. I've heard that we're bringing uh, Franklin Graham to speak. Is that true? Do you know who Franklin Graham is? No, Billy. Anyone say Billy? Is he like Billy a Billy Goat Gruff? rapper? God, I'm just kidding. I know who Billy Graham is. He I does. Know, I know who Franklin. He knows Graham about is. Samaritan's Purse. Yeah, that is the guy that wrote the Bible. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. He knows. Definitely. He, he's just playing. Man, all, you, all your students are watching going, wow, that guy doesn't know who wrote that, the Bible. That guy is there's something wrong with him. Yeah. Uh, what about, oh, uh, we were talking about things doing together. We have an awesome opportunity. Our seniors. How many seniors? Did you have a handful of seniors graduating this year? Yeah, yeah. We had a couple. Okay. Not as many as you. I had a bunch this year, yeah. which is sad because you see them leaving the youth ministry. Mm -hmm. But it's also exciting to see how they – connect in the future yeah um i have students going all over the place georgia and north georgia and yep. all over the place and i just want to encourage them and any uh, uh high school graduate to get connected with an organization when you get on campus yeah. whether that's the bcm mm -hmm. um if you're going to athens you know there's obviously swap ministries yeah for sure a great opportunity them, great. we love you john yeah. and your hair Ooh, love his hair if i could as, rock the john hair oh yeah it's almost as nice as mine i would only trade my hair for john john hair. definitely yeah and and you'd wear it in a ponytail too oh yeah definitely. all the time all the time so you've got um all kinds yeah, of great opportunities in. get plugged in when you when you transition yes. out of youth ministry you got to get plugged in and serve somewhere and do something somewhere yeah. and, and stay part of the local body yes um but we get to do baccalaureate here we'll be baccalaureate doing july the back here 14th july or 19th 19th hold on i've got my phone july in the my 19th pocket. that sounds more. That's a, let's go with well, that. Let's just july go with 19th you're not paying it's attention. on a sunday they're not paying attention to us anyway they're they're, they're already on Carol instagram Baskins. um so july july the 19th we'll be doing baccalaureate service because here's the cool thing whether um, you're one of Bradley's seniors or one of my seniors or a senior that is involved in a, a local church, church yeah. around here. Um, either way, man, we the cool thing about our county is not just the tree, not mm -hmm. just Taco Tuesday, but the cool thing about our county is we're we're a community. That's right. Um, for sure. So we all – family. Most, most of us all know each other. We all care yeah. for each other. So um, that's why baccalaureate is so cool because you see – you get to see that sense of community. So if yeah. you're a senior watching, make sure you're at baccalaureate. It's yeah. going to be an incredible time. Um, we're going to be giving away a bunch of stuff from our sponsors. 
And, oh, are uh, we? <laughs> we? If we, we, we don't, don't have, have any. any. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So make sure you're at the baccalaureate and you'll see. Um, yeah, I think I think this has been a really good first episode. It's been great. Yeah. Uh, let's close with our favorite Bible passage. Okay. You want to do that? Let you me want, pull mine up while so, you're getting yours. So you want to go? You want to go favorite like of all time or like favorite, favorite right now? Here recently, favorite you Bible verse. Uh, um, you think about it. you got right yours. Now. You be thinking about. It. Let me go ahead and give mine. I want to read. It's a list. I don't oh, want to yeah. leave anything off. Okay. So I'm gonna gonna go ahead. Romans 8. You know where I'm going with this? I do know where you're going. 38 and 39. I love it. I yeah, love it. it. Um, this is something that um, I discovered, I guess. I was in college when I really read through this, and it made sense. It clicked. The thing about God's Word, it's the living Word of God. And it. when you're at one age, it'll hit you one way, and when you get older, it'll hit you another way. But a lot of times you hear people talking about, you know, um, God's love, and this to me is just the greatest list, you know, talking about what, the question is, what can separate us from the love of God? So listen to this list. For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, mm. nor principalities, or nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So that's my all time. If somebody asks, you know, what my favorite passage, I love those two verses. So what yeah. do you what do you have for us? Um, so mine is I, I love Second Corinthians chapter five. Everybody makes fun of the way I say second, but I love second. Hey, you say Cor- second. Second. That sounds normal to me. Second. Second. Yeah. They say I say scared. Scared. Our pastor says wash. Wash. Like he washes wash, his hands. The wash other day your hands, he said, ye sinners. He said Washington, D.C. Washington. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope you didn't watch that. Um, so, yeah, 2 Corinthians 5.21. I, I love this verse. I love uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. Mm-hmm. You know, therefore, if anyone's in Christ, they're a new creation. But this verse is really cool. It says, for our sake, he made him to be sin mm-hmm. who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness mm-hmm. of God. Yep. And, I, and I love... Yeah. Um, not just thinking about Jesus dying on the cross or being a sacrifice, but like God actually made him sin mm. and made him the punishment. Like yeah. all of my sin wasn't just placed on him. It was transferred to him mm. um, so that I could be righteous. Mm. So that whole, That's like good. everything was dumped on him. Mm. So there's nothing left in me. And now I am righteous. Wow. I, I think I have to be reminded um, not just because of my past, but just because I'm a human that yeah. I'm righteous. Um, wow. So I love that verse. So just know that in Christ, man, you're righteous. In Christ, there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God, and that's good. Let's do complimented really well. Just oh, yeah, like, for sure. Just like peanut butter and jelly. Woo, that's good. Oh. I like that. That is awesome. <laughs> hey, we're glad you tuned in, man. Just be looking forward to more videos. Again, if you've got anything we want to talk about, um, I guess spiritual or stupid. Yeah, we can be stupid. It's, yeah, it's like, good to laugh and have fun. Yep. But, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, leave us some comments. We love you guys. We love you. We love each other. We, we do. Lo- we I was do. kidding at the beginning. I know. I they can know. tell. Can, can you tell? tell? I yeah. hope you can tell. Okay. Yeah. He's breaking social distancing rules for me. <laughs> yeah, look at so, this. Yeah. So we love you guys. Have a great day. Tune in next time. Bye.